Hi there and welcome. I'm Dr. Jane Varner from the Palo Alto Medical Foundation here with the doctor's message. You or a close friend or family member may have been told that you have adult diabetes or even pre-diabetes. Well, you are not alone. Nearly 2 million Americans are diagnosed with adult diabetes every year. Diabetes can increase your risk of developing problems with your heart, eyes, kidneys, and even the nerves in your hands and feet. So what is diabetes anyway? The food that you eat is broken down into simple building blocks. Some of those building blocks are glucose molecules. Glucose molecules are reabsorbed into your bloodstream from your digestive tract and then further transported into your individual cells by insulin. Your cells then have the necessary fuel to carry out all of their important processes. With adult diabetes, your body makes plenty of insulin, but the insulin just doesn't work well. This is called insulin resistance. Insulin resistance can develop as a result of genetics, lack of physical activity, and being overweight. So if you've been told that you have diabetes, or even pre-diabetes, what can you do to help yourself? I like to think of this as a two-fold approach. One, increase the effectiveness of insulin in your body, and two, decrease the number of carbohydrates that you are eating. Increasing insulin effectiveness can be accomplished through physical activity and weight loss. Studies show that physical activity immediately increases insulin effectiveness. So after a meal, take a walk around the block, walk up and down the stairs at work, or even put on some music and dance as you clear the table and wash the dishes. Exercise for 10 minutes or an hour. It turns out that every minute counts. Studies also show that even a five or 10 pound weight loss can dramatically increase insulin effectiveness. If you're struggling to lose weight on your own, talk to your doctor to find out what kind of support programs might be available to you. Watch the number of carbohydrates that you are eating. Carbohydrates are broken down into glucose molecules. Some are necessary, but too many are harmful. Examples of carbohydrates are breads, rice, tortillas, noodles, fruits and fruit juices, sodas, and desserts. All the foods we love, right? Some carbs are more harmful than others though. So reference the glycemic index that I talked about earlier in the show when deciding on which foods to cut back on. Whenever possible, choose whole grains such as brown rice and whole wheat bread. These are tougher for the body to break down and don't generate quite as many glucose molecules as processed carbs. My final recommendations, start today. Take small steps if you need to. Target a five pound weight loss and a walk around the block every evening after dinner. Once you start, you'll feel so much better. And that's what it's all about, right? Again, I'm Dr. Jane Varner with The Doctor's Message.